Teledata One, the Italian touch to fire safety technologies. After auto configuration, the panel will set the default parameters in all the devices, independently if they're detectors or modules or call points. However, in, depending on your project, depending on your system, you have the possibility to change the parameters of the single device one by one as you prefer. By logging in as a programming um, user, default password is 5 times 3 We have the possibility to configure all our devices that have been already added or you can add new devices. By going into the configure menu, you have a device zone, you can select detectors, and you have the possibility to add, modify, delete or copy devices. By adding, you have the possibility to add a new device that the panel has not already found, or you have the possibility to modify an already existing device, delete an existing device or copy the parameters of a device. By clicking on to modify, choosing our loop, we are free to choose one of our devices. In this case, it's a smoke detector. You have the possibility to um, give a name to the device, so we have up to 20 characters to give a label to this device. Let's give it, for example, entrance. It's not radio, so it's a wired device. I can press next. I have the possibility to program a verifier alarm filter. Basically, by adding, uh, activating this functionality, the panel will keep this detector under control for how many seconds as I program. In this case, we can program something like 20 seconds. What will happen is that the detector will go in alarm and the panel will not accept immediately that alarm but will keep it under control for around about 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, the panel, if it, the device is still under alarm, the panel will go in alarm status. By pressing next, I have the possibility to configure the sensitivity level and the management of the sensitivity level. I have, for default, the panel will give a fixed value. I have the possibility to configure 24 hours or night. By configuring 24 hours, I have the possibility to change, as I wish, the sensitivity level from low, medium low, medium high or high level. If the sensitivity level management is configured as night, I have, what will happen is the panel will manage differently the sensitivity levels. I am still free to configure low, medium, low, medium, high and high sensitivity level, but what will happen is that at night time, the sensitivity level will be plus one. So if I configure, for example, medium low, at night time, the sensitivity level of that detector will be medium high. The day and night will be followed by this weekly trend that I am free to program. We'll see that in the next video. By modifying a heat detector instead, a different mask will appear. Of course, I will see the type of the detector will be thermal. By pressing next, I have the pos still possibility to change the name of the device. So let's put kitchen, for example. It's not radio, so it's a cable device. I still have the possibility to configure the verify of the alarms and just press save. By modifying a combined detector, I have the double opportunity to configure still the label of the device, if it's wired or not wired, or wireless. I still have a verify alarms parameter. I have the possibility to, com to configure both parts of the optic part and the thermal part. So I can still configure the um, sensitivity level in the same way as the optical detector. And I have this new um, feature that I can program a day and time, a weekly trend, and have the possibility to deactivate part of the detector by day or by night. So I can do a configuration something like this, where I'm deactivating the day part, by day the smoke detector and by night the thermal detector. So this gives me um, good opportunity and flexibility to manage that the double tech detector as only smoke or as only thermal, depending if it's morning or night. In the case you want to configure some, your modules, in the same case like the detectors, you still have the possibility to do add, modify, delete and copy. Let's go and do a modifi modify your device. In my case, in my system, I, for example, I only have two modules, that address number 3 and address number 7. 
In this case, my address number seven is an input module, and I have still the possibility to give a label to the device, if it's radio or not. And in this case, it's a call point. There are other types of input modules that are a classical input module or a gas detector. By clicking next, I have the possibility to configure light the detectors to verify the alarms and just press save. If I want to modify my module number three, I will immediately notice that it's an output device. By clicking on to next, I have still the same possibility to give a name to the device and declare if it's radio or not. In this case, my output device is a siren type. I have the possibility to configure this um, feature that is an active evacuation. What will happen is that in case of alarm, the user that is in front of the panel will have the possibility to activate the evacuation and in case of activation of the operation, this device will ring automatically, also if in this moment it's not ringing. By clicking on to next, I have the possibility to configure of this siren his volume, the tone, and if it's only sound, only light, or sound and light. By pressing save, I've saved the configuration parameters. In case I need to reset some devices that are connected um, between some modules, I have the possibility to use an output module not to activate a siren or to trigger or activate any siren that I have around. I have the possibility to um, use it, use this output device to reset um, some devices. What will happen is that every time that you reset your panel, the panel will send a command to that device and will turn it on and turn it off for a few seconds. To do this feature, all you need to do is just go and, just go and add a new device. This declares an output module. Do not give a name. It's a classical output module just by clicking on to reset detectors, yes, and press save. What have we done now? We've created a new device that is number four. Um, and we've said that it's a reset detector. What will happen is that every time I reset the panel, the panel will activate that module for two, three seconds, and this is usually used to turn off and turn on a device for a few seconds. 